Hello, welcome to the Celeb Stories channel. Celebrities give a wildly inconsistent responses. As their divisive docuseries cause waves, some celebrities have lauded Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, while others have condemned them. In this video, we are going to talk about celebrities turning their back on Meghan Markle after her Netflix show. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Meghan McCain According to Wonderwall, Meghan McCain slammed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in her column for the Daily Mail. After the infamous Oprah interview and volume I, everyone was expecting some bombshells. But it was all duds, the daughter of a late Senator John McCain and former VIEW co-host wrote. McCain went on to say that Prince Harry and Markle didn't offer viewers any new evidence of their trials and tribulations. Instead, we are shown them crying during emotional hypnotherapy sessions whatever that are. Not to mention what they put their family through. How trashy to shame your own flesh and blood and for what? It was all smoke and no fire. Sharon Osbourne Days before Volume 2 dropped, the Osbournes alum discussed the distasteful docuseries with Morgan on his show Uncensored. I was totally bored by the whining, the whining, the whining, she said. And you know, the curtsy and the thing she said about medieval times. The lunch with the queen was like medieval times which as you know is a Disney-type entertainment place for kids. It is just so horribly disrespectful and just a wine fest. I mean, is Harry's book going to be the same thing? The former X Factor judge called the Netflix project trash, pointing out that the couple could have used the opportunity to discuss their charity work instead. Everything has been abused by the public, by the press, by the royal family, Osborne said. Well, do you know what? You have a great life, you have a beautiful family, and you are so much in love. Move on. Get a life and move on. Megyn Kelly Megyn Kelly called Harry and Meghan boring, uninspiring, and an interminable waste of time. During her Sirius XM show, the former Fox News anchor slammed Prince Harry, claiming that he needed a real psychotherapist and not a whiny, woke annoying wife. She went on to deem the Netflix series a total farce, according to the New York Post. Finally, Kelly tweeted, as he prances around the $14 million, nine-bear mansion in Montecito with massive gardens, white-lighted cocktail parties, and mountain views from his seven-acre yard, Harry laments how all he ever wanted was this normal life. These are the least self-aware people on earth. Before we move on, Support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to our topic, Howard Stern. The radio host called the couple whiny bastardous titties after sitting through the painful first three episodes. I wouldn't stay with it, but my wife, Beth Ostrowski Stern, wants to watch it. You know, we have shows we watch, but they come off like such whiny bastardous tis. I gotta tell you, man, I just don't get it," he said on December 12. I get Prince Harry being pissed off at the monarchy for his mother. They treated her like Shasterist. I feel bad for Prince Harry losing his mother and all that. So you got my empathy there. But Jesus Christ, when those two start whining about wah 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 and they don't like me, and Meghan wants to be beloved in this country. But man, oh man. It's like the Kardashians except boring. Bethany Frankel. I found it a little bit boring. The Real Housewives of New York City alums said via a TikTok video after the first three episodes dropped on December 8. It didn't hold my attention. It seemed like they really wanted to be humanized. They wanted us to know that they are real human beings. We believe that you are really in love and we believe that you're really human beings. The Suits alum allegedly wanted to hang out with prominent celebrities and seek renown from the famous family, according to Frankel. It felt like this entire documentary was about how famous we are. It was relentless, she continued. If you were being trolled by the media, the royal family gave you the advice to say nothing because that's the advice that most very famous people are given. If you add gasoline to a fire, the fire blows up even bigger. It feels like they and Meghan in particular just keep wanting to tell us more. The reality personality continued by describing the program as a smash-and-grab job for money, saying, it seems like 
Grab the bag because we're leaving this thing and we should take whatever we can. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the Celeb Stories channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.